Twas the night before Brexit, when all through the land, not a voter was certain, or could quite understand. The Parliament hung by the people with care, in hopes that some answers soon would be there. The ERG nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sweetheart deals danced in their heads. And labour in purgatory, Lib Dems in a flap, had settled our future in a long winter's nap. When out of the blue there arose a hard hitter, I sprang from my bed to see who on my Twitter. There on the sofa, where Baywatch met Corbyn, sat young Danny Dyer with a bold Brexit warning. The mood of the nation, an hour newfound hero, calling Cameron a twat, a fiddling Nero. When what to my wandering mind did appear, but a memory of how he had voted that year. So we see an old lever, so lively and brave. Now in the moment he must pin it on Dave. More rapid than eagles, his curses they came, and he whistled and shouted, and he called him that name. Now nah, geezer, where's Cameron? His trotters in France. I'm common, I'm stupid, let's do the blame dance. Back to the moment, our backs to the wall. Now stash away, stash away, stash away all. When leavers before said we'd reach for the sky. When they met with an obstacle, they'd say we could fly. So up to the cliff edge, the course they held true. With the bus full of promise, and no clue what to do. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on Facebook, the FBI's Muller was taking a look. As he drew in on Nigel, and how he was pushing, for Brexit and Trump, and how he'd meet with the Russian. He was mixed up in lies, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with fagash and soot. A bundle of data he had flung on his back, and he looks like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his poses, how gay, his friends making fortunes, millions in one day. His droll little mouth was drawn up like an arse, and the lie on the bus was revealed as a farce. The stump of a ciggy held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. And with a smug face and a little round belly, Boris just laughed at us all on the telly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old chap, and we laughed when we saw him, thought him a sap. A wink of his eye and a twist of his word, soon I knew nothing of what I had heard. He spoke of the future, how Britain would work, and filled up his pockets, then quit, what a jerk. By laying his duties and chaos aside, he stuck up two fingers and jumped off the ride. And so to Teresa, with her plan down from Chequers, away they all flew to plan new double-deckers. But I heard them exclaim to all the naysayers, Brexit means Brexit, so say all your prayers.